gentlemen of the jury, I come before you to plead for the life of Leon McDuff. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm asking you to be the judge of when enough is enough. Now Leon McDuff has worked on his daddy's farm every day since the day that he was born. Plowing in the field and hoeing in the garden And helping to pick the cotton and the corn Then came the time of the Mississippi floods When all of his work went down the drain His land was parched by sun, blown by the wind And finally washed away by the rain So Leon went to his friends trying to get help from them But their crops and their money all were gone so Leon went to the bank trying to mortgage his home But the banks wouldn't give Leon a loan Could not decide how his family could survive With no crop and no money to buy food And as he struggled with his hands trying to rework his land A notice came and said your land tax is due Ladies and gentlemen of the jury I come before you to plead for the life of Leon McDuff In an air-conditioned office on the other side of town, there sat a government official with a frown. Seems he'd been trying all week long to find land to build a summer home, but cheap river land could not be found. And in the middle of his gloom, his boss walked in the room. He said, I got some real good news for the house you planned. See, there's a farmer who's so poor and whose luck has gone so sour, he'll never pay the taxes on his land. So you just wait a week or two until the money's overdue. Then go to the cashier down the hall. Hold this deed in your hand and pay the taxes on his land and have the sheriff give Leon McDuff a call. And you can tell Leon to move by the last day of July cause his taxes on his land are overdue. Tell him he's got to move away cause his taxes were not paid and then all that river land belongs to you. Same air conditioned office in about a week or two. Here comes the sheriff saying, I got bad news. That old Leon McDuff knows he's had bad luck. He says he'll try to get the money, but he won't move. Well, that bureaucrat jumped up and grabbed the sheriff by the arm. He says, We're going out and take his land today. And so he and the sheriff drove on out to Leon's farm to tell the McDuffs to move away. There stood Leon on his land with a shotgun in his hand And his eyes, they were narrow beneath the brim of his hat He said, I've worked hard on this land as a boy and as a man And I lose it now to no damn bureaucrat Well, that bureaucrat got mad and he grabbed the gun in Leon's hand And in the struggle, an explosion cracked the air And when the smoke and dust had cleared and the ringing left their ears The sheriff, he lay dying on the ground Sheriff, he lay dying on the ground Now on this table I will lay this here gun, Exhibit A And there's two sets of fingerprints that you can't even see other hands were here, none perceived or eye to ear To help trigger off this morbid tragedy And now to me it's still unclear What really caused the problem here There's just too much you got to know before you know enough And though we can't find out today Just where all the guilt should lay It shouldn't be on Leon McDuff Ladies and gentlemen of the jury I come before you to plead for the life of Leon McDuff Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I'm asking you to be the judge of winning up.